Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm doing a, another makeup for beginners makeup tutorial. So this is going to be a full face, including con contouring, like powder, everything like that, including the eyes and everything. So yeah, I'm going to start with my eyes today. I already have my foundation done. I'm doing a first impression, which at the end of this, I'm going to kind of let you know what I think once I get the rest of my makeup on. So today for my eyes, I'm going to be using this palette from CoverGirl. And this is an Eye Enhancers palette, and it's in the color Pure Romance. They're kind of like natural purples and everything, and it's really gorgeous. I did get this a couple years ago, so I don't know if they still have it or not, um, but I'm sure they have something similar if they don't. So I'm going to start by taking just a flat brush like this, and I'm going to take this first purple color right here. Not this one, but the second one. And I'm going to put it all over my lid. just like that and then I'm going to take a blending brush just a small one and I'm going to take this brown shade right here and I'm going to just put it in my crease and go along with my natural crease like that and I know this looks crazy now but believe me it'll look great once I get like eyeliner and everything on. So then I'm going to take a little foam applicator brush and I'm going to take the shade right between the two I just used, this kind of darker purple right here, and I'm going to kind of put this just right here. Just so it's a little bit of a darker blend right there. And adds just a little bit more dimension. just a little bit of the brown on the very outer corner like that just to deepen that up a little bit and by the looks of this I think it does have fall off <laughs> so now I'm going to put this palette aside I'm going to come back to it but I'm going to go ahead and do underneath my eyes and put powder on and stuff so Right underneath my eyes for concealer, I am taking, sorry, I have to find it, here it is, the Maybelline New York Insta Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, just in a triangle, and this is in the color light, by the way. Just in a triangle, like I said, and then just taking my beauty blender and kind of blending that out. I feel like there's something in my eye. I'm 
Now, now I'm taking this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in the color Light. And I'm just going to put it down my nose, a little bit on my forehead. And then on my chin, anywhere that I have any little spots. And then I'll just blend it out with my Beauty Blender again. Sorry, I'm waiting on my boyfriend to message me back. Because we were talking and his phone died. Which is never good. But yeah. Alright, now. For underneath the eye, I'm taking a... This is a little powder brush. I have this palette. It's from May and Tang. Or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is um, a contour palette, but I'm actually taking this kind of tannish, light tan shade right here. And this palette is very pigmented, just a warning. I'm just getting some of this powder on my brush. I'm using it to brighten my under eye. Like so. And this was not the best brush to use because it kind of hurts my face. So, yeah. Sorry, powder just went everywhere. Alright, what am I using for face powder? So, I think today I'm going to use my CoverGirl pressed powder. And this is from the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Skin Pressed Powder collection thing. And this is in the color 225 Buff Beige. Ow. Oh. And just using a big blendy brush. Let me see how everything is actually no 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 no. I don't want to do that. Because my blush that I'm using is a cream blush. Right here. This is from e.l.f. and it's in the color Peach Perfection. And like I said, it's a cream blush. It's one of my favorites. I think it's so gorgeous. I'm gonna use the wrong finger for this. Also, another reason I'm checking my phone is because I have to be at work at 4.30, and I'm making sure it's not getting close because I still have to get dressed and do my hair. And my hair is currently wet, so I might take a little bit. So yeah, that's always fun to do one. So I'm going to check the foundation real quick and do a quick update. So, um, I need to, I need my beauty blender first of all. So, um, it looks like my concealer blended out pretty well with it. Like, it didn't cause any, like, really harsh lines or anything, or my foundation to separate. Um, it looks really nice, actually. Except for, like, right here, which I don't know exactly what I did. I think that was my blush, but we'll fix it. So yeah, I'm liking the way it looks so far. We'll do the powder and see how I'll feel after that. So my powder goes on really well with it. Sometimes I have problems with, like, 
different powders and foundations, like, some of them get clumpy with it and stuff like that. And I'm not having that problem with it. It's blending out really nicely, and my powder is sticking to it like it's supposed to. And yeah, so I really like that. So, it looks good. Alright, anyways, we're going to continue. So, I think we're going to go ahead and... Do my eyebrows. I don't have a set order of how I do my makeup, really. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of breeze through this because I did a video the other day on how I... On doing eyebrows for beginners. I totally fucked this one up. Whatever. I'm sorry, my grandpa is throwing a fit today. And he's walking around outside, and I'm supposed to be watching it. My eyebrows really want to clump today, I don't know why. They're a little too dark, so. Whenever I get my eyebrows too dark, I just take some of my powder on like a beauty blender and just take it over it, kind of. Because then that kind of lightens it up. So then on top of where I did my brows, I'm just going to take... Sorry, my brow straps are falling. I'm just going to take this clear eyebrow gel from e.l.f. Like that. Alright, now we're going to go back to the eyes. So, personally what I use for my eyes is the e.l.f. cream eyeliner. I had to think of what it was called. Um, but I currently cannot find it, it seems. So maybe we won't be using it. That's my under eye setting powder. And I don't need that. I need my other eye. I found it. So it's just a black cream eyeliner, as you can see. And I'm just going to take. Mm, what brush do I want to use today? We are going to just use this angled brush right here. Looks like this. I don't know what brand it is. So there we go. I got it flat on my brush. I'm going to turn my brush like this. I'm just doing a thin line across. Sorry if you hear my grandpa talking in the background. 
So I just did a slight wing, which I'm going to do a video later, probably next week, of how I do my wing liner. And I fucked up that one. Shit. Whatever. I don't have anything to fix it off. So, there's the wing, and actually I'm going to go ahead and tie line real quick. So there's my eyeliner. And now I'm going to curl my lashes. So this is just an eyelash curler I got from Avon. And I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. And then over top of that, I'm taking the Ome One Coat Nourishing Mascara. I'm sorry, I have a clump in my eye. It's probably eyeliner, and I wonder if I get a spot on my nose. So now I think I'm going to try this palette for contouring. So I'm going to take the lighter shade right here and actually take a blending brush and just blend it down my nose, kind of. Just like that. I 
And then I'm going to take the shade I used under my eyes and just take it down the center of my nose to kind of brighten that. Like so. And then I'm just going to take this brush, which I think is supposed to be a blush brush, but whatever. Take the same color. And then I'm going to take the same shade again. And grab it underneath of the highlighting one. Just to kind of cut that crease. And I'll leave it on there to set and kind of bake for a few minutes. Sorry, my lip was itchy. And then I'm actually going to take this Avon Glow bronzing powder in the color Light Bronze and use it just on my forehead to bronze my forehead and use it down my neck to kind of contour that with a mix of the other. Now I'll just wipe that off. So I have a really nice contour line right there. And now I'm actually going to go back to my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to do underneath my eyes, which I don't do very often. I'm actually just going to take the brown and kind of buff it out underneath that black liner. So it looks a little bit more smoky and then I'm going to just take it and put it like right here in my crease to really cut that crease. Like so. And then I'm going to take that first almost white powder right here and just use it as an inner corner highlight. And then on my brow bone. And then I'm going to just take this Maybelline New York Master Contour pa Palette. And I'm going to take the highlighting shade, which is right here. And I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. with the brush it comes with as well as a little bit on my chin and on my forehead and then just with my finger I'm going to take a tad bit on my the tip of my nose down the center as well as on my cupid's bow I like that and then if you do happen to get too much highlighting, you can just take it like a blending brush and blend it all out. So then, what am I doing for this today? I'm going to take this... No, I'm not. That one's broken. They're red. Do I need to do red? Oh, that's not a red. Oh, that's orange. 
much. I don't have that much lipstick on. Fudge. Guys, what am I going to do? I could go with pink. I don't have a pink lipstick though. She is. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, what you this one. So I'm just gonna take this pink eyeliner, well, eyeliner slash lip liner from Me Now Generation. And I'm gonna line my lips with it. And fill them in also. I'm sorry guys, I really need to get new eyeliner. And I just thought of something that I need to check. What the heck is in my eye? So anyways, I'm using this Wet n Wild lipstick, and it's in the color Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. And it looks like this. I had it on my teeth. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every single day. Also, if you guys have any video suggestions, you can leave those in the comments below and I'll definitely do them for you guys. And all my social media is in the description if you want to follow me on any of that. And I think that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Oh, I forgot to finish what I have to think about the foundation. Um, I really like it. I think it's really good uh, for being so cheap and everything. Um, not saying that cheap foundation, cheap makeup isn't good. Um, I think it's really good for the price it is. I wish it just had more coverage, but I like how it didn't move when I put my concealer or my blush on, and I just really like how it looks and everything once my makeup is finished. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.